Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 3. So last time it was the beginning, part 1, and we made it through the Altar Cape and entered the first town called Ur. So this time, we are going to explore this town, and here we go. There are a lot of buildings, but most of these you don't actually have to like do stuff in. First off, this guy's important, because if you talk to him, or actually, hold on, wait a minute, oh. Okay, first we have to go to this building. Let's go to this building, no, so let's go in the building, there we go. And hello there, dude. I can sense what has happened to you. You must now heed the words of Elder Topapa. So what is this over here? Oh, it's a heel. It's a... what the hell was it called? Something spring? I forgot. Jesus. Alrighty. And this one over here. Usually towns have one that heals HP, MP, and status, and the other one revives characters, but because we have no one dead, because we only have one character. If, if he was dead, it would be a game over. But anyways, here there is Elder Topapa. Let's talk to him. You have come, Luneth. So it is you who has been chosen. You must understand that your meeting with the crystal was not happenstance. It was the crystal's will. You have been chosen. Chosen? For what? I don't understand. A long time ago, a traveler came to me carrying a newborn child. His face was covered in soot, and his clothes were burnt to tatters. The child he carried in his arms was you. To think, even as a newborn, you were already destined to be chosen by the crystal. You must now set forth on your journey. Take your power, the light you hold in your heart, and use it well. Interesting. So that's all you're gonna say? Alright, so I have to go to Kazis. Hmm, what do I have to do? I mean, so far there's not too much about the story explained, just that we're chosen by these crystals or something, and... Again, a lot of... a lot of holes right now, so we have to know what the hell, you know, like, we have to figure out some stuff here. Anyways, over here there's a secret. If you come all the way over here, and then go to, uh, let me see, was there a secret item over here? There probably wasn't. No. There's just this. Go to the well, and you will actually get taken to this place that has three potions. One here, two here, and guess what the third one is, people? Yeah, you had already seen it, so what the hell. Potion. Three potions. Very nice, very useful for this point in the game, because, you know, it's... Everything is technically scarce right now. So this one right here is the inn. Um, usually in, th usually in this game, in inns, there is, well, let me see. Is there, is there something here? I thought there was, but nah, there probably isn't. Inns usually have an item shop, and you get to buy stuff. Potions, eye drops, antidotes. Um, I'm gonna buy a couple of these. I'm gonna buy... I'll buy five. And yeah, one really cool thing about this game, if you buy things in bundles, you actually save money. For example, potions are 50. Buy two, 100. Three, 150. For 190, so you've saved 10 already. And keep doing it, and you save even more, up to, I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go like infinite, save infinite savings, but I think eventually it reaches its lowest point. But for the most part, you want to buy things in bundles, because you do save up money in the long run. You really do. There's that, I already have 6 potions, no need for that, so I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead and get the hell out of here. Here's, there's a person. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyways, this building here contains... people. Now, there's something really funny in this one, and I'm gonna go ahead and show it in just a bit. Hold on, though. Um, nothing there. Dude, I'm, pff, you're blocking me. Okay, there we go. I thought there was some... No, apparently there isn't. Anyways, if we talk to this person right here... Take a look at this. And I'm gonna be quiet after I read this. Why, hello there, Luneth. Watch me dance. Okay, what in the hell was that? Seriously. <laughs> I'm not saying that to the to the damn dancing, no I'm not. I mean, it actually it, it looked good, but why did they put that in the game like some randomness that makes no sense? It, it has nothing to do with quests, side quests in the game, nothing like that, so I don't know. Anyways, here is me playing a piano. And again, very random. This has nothing to do with, like, a plot thing or anything. Nothing. And people booed me because I suck. Alright, whatever. Let's get out of here. I just wanted to show that because it's, it's really funny. It's hilarious. Upstairs. So upstairs there are... Well, let me see. I think there's one item over here. Never mind. I'm lying everywhere, people. I seriously am. I for sure thought there was something here in this inn. Like a secret item. Whatever. Let me tell you about your current job. Freelancers can use low-level magic, but their base attributes are pretty low. Yeah, so that's my job. Technically, it isn't a job, you know, freelancers, some people don't consider that a job, but whatever. Anyways, here we can heal, but I just used the spring, so, you know, 
No point in that. Instead, we are done here in the inn. And let's move to the next place. The next part of the game would be, let me see. Over here. To the shops. So in the shops you can buy stuff, obviously. You are selling a dagger, a longsword, which I have equipped already. A bow, a staff, and a wooden arrow, or wooden arrows. Yeah, if you use a ranger in this game, you actually have to keep buying the equipment, which freaking sucks. Anyways, I'm not going to buy anything yet because I'm, I'm pretty good with all that. And let me see, what about this? Leather armor, I'm going to buy this, actually. Hmm, because I only have 120. I could buy bronze brazers, but that's only one defense. I'm going to buy the leather armor. I'm going to do that. The leather shield I already have. And leather cap I don't have, so I'm going to buy that too. Now let's go to equipment, right over here, to equip. And choose, well for head, leather cap, that's one more defense. And vest to leather armor, that's an upgrade of two. Very nice. Up to six defense. If you do buy the bronze braziers in, in this point of the game, they actually go here in the arms category, so you get more defense. Arms are kind of like accessories, I mean, not really, because they're more like gloves, and a lot of Final Fantasy games have arms. Armlets or stuff, you know? But whatever. In this game, that's the closest thing to accessories. I'm just going to say that. And then over here, there is the magic store. So the magic store, well, let's see what this one has. Poison, I removes poison. It's a white magic level 1. Problem is, I don't have enough money. I only have 15, so I can't do that. I cannot. Now, let's see. That was actually an exit, if you go to the left side. So, the next place would be up north. This guy looks suspicious. Oh, no, never mind. Actually, there's one more thing. There's one more thing I forgot. If you actually come right to this guy, he will talk about items. But anyways, if you give him a potion, he will actually in return give you Phoenix Down. Overall, that's a very nice trade because Phoenix Down is in this game. And this is probably one of the very few things that makes this game kind of difficult sometimes. The lack of Phoenix Downs. There are, you cannot buy Phoenix Downs in this game. In almost every single Final Fantasy game, you can buy Phoenix Downs. Yes, in some they're pretty expensive, but the point is you can still buy them. And in this game, you cannot buy Phoenix Downs. So how do you revive people? Well, the few Phoenix Downs you get during the adventure. Also, oh yeah, by the way, there's encounters to this path. If you, Because if you go through here, you're going to reach a building which contains uh, some treasures. And it's useful, but you're probably going to encounter some stuff here. Or maybe not. Oh, wait, there, there we go. An encounter. Yeah, so, um, you know, you can use those Phoenix Downs that you get, or you can also go to the, the Springs that Revive. Again, there's a difference between the Springs that Revive and the Springs that Heal HP and MP. And, later on, there is a white magic spell called Raise, or even later Arise. Wait, does Arise exist in here? No, no, I think it's only Raise. But basically, Raise revives people. Once you have Raise, the game doesn't seem as challenging in terms of that, you know, like, you know, having... Having problems with keeping people alive. Anyways, over here is a potion. Just spam A and you'll eventually get it. Eventually. Um, let's keep going. And in here there is a person. Who are you? There are switches that open hidden passageways in towns and dungeons. You'll have to look closer to find them. Okay. Yeah, so there, there's a secret there. And, um... Yes, yes, I get it. I get it, dude. I completely get it. Alright. So yeah, um, this one contains, oh, hurry up, you talk too much, dude, there we go. There's actually two antidotes here. There's one here, and there's a second one, I think it's like more up here maybe, or maybe, yeah, yeah, there we go, antidote. Two antidotes, very nice, but if you go to this candle and tap on it, it reveals a secret. Very nice. So if you take this, this secret... This actually leads to a room that contains five chests. Very nice secret. Contains cure. Useful. Phoenix down. See, that's another one of those phoenix downs. You can only get them like this. And secrets. And chests. And whatever. Longsword eye drops. Okay. So, in here, the cure spell and the longsword are really useful. Of course, you can buy another longsword, but I didn't because I already knew that there was going to be another one. So, in this game, even though I have a shield because that's all I had at that point... It's usually better to dual wield weapons, because if you dual wield weapons, you get to attack with two weapons per turn. Yes, you lose your shield, your defense, but 
overall, I've seen that it's more worth it to equip dual wielded weapons. So I'm going to have two long swords, and you'll see the difference. You will see. I mean, your character doesn't actually attack two times. Like, you don't see two different damage, like, damages. They actually get added up into one, but it's still calculated at, like, like, two attacks, you know? So it's it's like you're doing double damage, pretty much. So, another goblin. All we've encountered are freaking goblins and carbuncles and that other enemy. And the turtle boss, of course, but whatever. Alright, so there we go. We beat him, and we gain... How much damage did I do? I did not even see. I seriously didn't. Alright, so... There's only one more place to go, and that's up here. Go this pathway, and you will get taken to a scene. An important scene, story-related. Oh yeah? Ghosts don't exist? Then go, th then go there yourself and prove it. Ha! Huh. You don't have the guts. You're a coward. Um, okay. This character is known as Ark. Ark is another orphan raised by Topapa and Lunette's best friend. Unlike Lunette, he prefers reading over gambling in the wild. His studies endow him with great knowledge that more than makes up for his shyness. Okay. So, name is Ark, and I will keep it like that. Hey, Ark, what's going on? It's Luneth, let's get out of here. Are these guys bullying you? Even though they're shorter than you? And he just runs away. Hey, wait, Ark, you don't have to run away from me. Yeah, you're friends, man. The description just said you're friends. I'm not a coward, but I know I have to be stronger. But I can't ask for Luneth's help. I'll show them. Okay. So... In here there is one more secret. I believe there's an item somewhere here. Let me just go ahead and spam A everywhere and I will get it. Um, are you kidding me? Oh, there we go. Potion. Sweet. Oh, hello, Lunette. I'm picking flowers. Good for you. So, yeah. I believe that is all of the secrets in this town. So, next up, we have to move to the next place. We are still alone, though. We don't have Ark with us because he just ran away, you know? Like, what the hell? I didn't mean the map. I meant the menu. Yep, look at that. Oh, I got hit 1 HP? Shoot. Okay, let's head down. This is the world map, so again, you could... You, get, you could... Oh my god. You could get random encounters. You could. Very possible. Oh, we made it. Okay, sweet. This is the next town. Yes, right now the towns are very close to each other, but do not worry. Eventually, it's, um... The world map, the world map gets much bigger. I don't know why I'm screwing up so much with words. Oh my god. Here's Ark. Hello there, dude. You just ran away. You ran through the world map by yourself. That's dangerous. <laughs> oh my god, you just scared the hell out of him. Ark, it's me, Lunette. Don't be afraid. Yeah, don't. Why did you run off on your own? What are you trying to prove anyway? Let me go with you, Lunette. I want to show everyone that I'm not a weakling. I didn't manage to come here all by myself. Yeah, you know, you walked for like five seconds by yourself. Man, that's crazy. I didn't manage... Oh, I already read that. Whoops. You'll take me with you, Lynette, won't you? Sure. Alright, if that's what you want. Ark has joined the party. Oh, yeah. So, second character. And let's see what he has. Here he is. He's level 3, though. That's pretty cool. He has a knife. Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to give you the dagger because it's an improvement. And because I... Should I just give you the knife or the... Because I, I know I said to dual wheel, but the knife is pretty weak that... Nah, you know what? Just do it. Leather cap, leather armor. That's a downgrade, right? Yes, it is. And nothing for arms. Okay. He's also a freelancer because, again, we don't have the job system available yet, but we will eventually. Um, Let's just go into town. So, these shops. If you actually go into shops, you will notice that these people are invisible. And you're like, what the hell is this? No, it's not glitching, okay? It's not. It's part of the game. And it's pretty much every single building. So, you can't buy stuff. Yeah, you know, because we all know that like, ghosts can't do business, you know? They can't. Yep. That's close, too. Not technically close, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I'm going to... Well, hold on. Hold on for a minute. Okay, sorry about that. So, building over here. Let's see what this one has. This one has... Oh, this is the uh, the Revival Spring, or no, what, what is it, the, oh, HP and MP have been restored. Cool. So, let's see, another inn here. This inn is 
probably closed, I don't know. Yeah, look at this. Everybody's a freaking ghost. What about over here? Look at this. So, this is very suspicious, right? You might be thinking, what the hell is going on here? We gotta talk to this guy, though. This progresses a story. Howdy there, Sid's the name. I'm from Canaan, but I've been stuck here ever since Nell Valley got blocked by giant rock. On top of that, I got a curse cast on me along with these other folks. Ain't that a trip and a half? Luneth, we have to do something to help these people. Say, if I lunch you my airship, do you lads think you could help me and these other saps? From what I hear, this curse can be dispelled through the power of a mithril ring. Unfortunately, we all seem to be out of mithril rings here. Even if we could get the mithril, Taka the smith has been turned into a ghost himself and his dower the apprentice has gone missing. My airship's hidden in the desert west of here. Use it to find a way to lift this curse. You may also tap on the airship itself to get on or off. Yeah, okay, okay it's all like tutorial now. Okay, so we gave us access to the ship. Now, we could keep going, but uh, I don't think there's anything... Let me see. I mean, there's a cave over here, but... Mithril Mines, I'm not going to do that yet. No. Not yet. Instead, it's better to... Well, hold on. Okay. So, well, wait a minute. What the heck is this? Oh, this building. That's Taka. Hmm, okay. What? How many times do I have to say it? No, I don't have any mithril rings. Okay, okay, I, I get it, dude. I did not mean to piss you off. Let's just go. So, we are pretty much all done here. We will return here later, though, and probably, you know, go to the shops and really explore it for real. But for now, all we can do is simply walk to the left side, to the center of the desert, and the airship is right here. They don't actually show it on the world map, which is kind of strange, but simply walk to the middle of the desert and you will find the airship. And here it is. Here's the airship. So there's a person here. Like, what the heck is this? I don't know, but let's see. Who are you? You, you woman. Who, who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is Sid's airship and he's letting us use it. Okay. This is the third party member of the game, Rifia, raised in Kazus by the mithril smith Taka, whose rigorous training led her to run away from home again. Oh god, okay, so... Again, I'm not going to rename her. I'm Rifia. And I'll have you know that my father and I forged the parts for this ship back in Kazus. Congrats. So that means you're the blacksmith's daughter. You have to help us make a mithril ring. Yes, that's the only way we'll be able to lift the curse on Kazus. I... I can't. I can't make mithril rings. I didn't study that far. I didn't want to. Swell. I don't think Sid's going to be particularly happy with that news. Wait. I know where we can find a ring. My father forged a mithril ring for King Sassoon a long time ago. He should still have it. Let me go with you. I can't make mithril rings, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazus. Okay. I think she should, I think she should come with us, Luneth. Me too. Slacking off saved her from the curse, so maybe that luck might rub off, rub off on us. Yeah. Okay, okay. She's pissed. Rifia, join the party. Alright. Very, very nice. So, once this... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me just take a look at her equipment really quick. Equipment. Knife as well. Interesting. Um, wait a minute. What the hell? I have another knife? When did I get another knife? Whatever, just equip it then. Leather cap. Leather armor. Ah, whatever. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually... Go to magic, go here, and I'm going to make her learn a spell. The way that you learn spells, well first off, when you get spells, they're actually appearing your items. Right here. Well, I'm just going to sort out my items. See, they actually appear in your items. But, if you actually want to give it to somebody and make them learn the spell, go to magic, and go to learn, and then tap on the one that, that you want them to learn. Once you do that, the item is gone, but they will keep the spell forever until you replace it or remove it. But yeah. So now Rifia has Cure, that's the only magic we have at the moment, and it's going to be pretty useful in the long run. So, let's go over here. All aboard, that is right. And we get access to the airship, which I will talk about in the next part. So, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.